Dear Dawson McAllister, can you look at me and tell something's not right with me medically? Can you look at my uh, right eye? What's wrong with my right eye? Can you t tell from the way I'm speaking that my all is not well? Every day I wake up, well rested, but I'm naturally fatigued. I try to lounge in the recliner in the living room and watch TV, but I keep squirming because my low back keeps hurting. I just felt a funny feeling on the top of my head, like a crawling sensation. So I go into my bedroom and lay on my bed and drink my coffee and watch the TV. Sometimes I want to just close my eyes and grab myself on the pillow. I'm so tired. I'm, uh, right now I'm feeling a funny feeling behind my right eye. I was diagnosed with sinusitis, but it's more than that. Because I've been on that Flonase for uh, a month now. I'm feeling better. I can sing those high notes now. But I'm still feeling this funny feeling behind my right eye. And at night, when it's time to take my Flonase, I can't wait to take it because of my the feeling behind here, my sinus, whatever, is feeling inflamed. I think I got an aneurysm. Or a, a tumor. That's making my sinuses constantly inflamed so that no CAT scan can, can detect it. The pharmacist called me and told me a CAT scan is not going to detect something wrong if your sinuses are inflamed. You need to get your doctor to refer you to a ear, nose, and throat specialist in Greenville, not in Kissing. and tell them you're feeling bad. And I am feeling bad. I've had 11 CAT scans in the past year and a half. I'm the butt of jokes of doctors and I, I mean, I'm feeling I don't even feel like feel like editing and making this video. I don't feel like writing my song. I don't feel like sitting at my, at my computer, which I used to love to do. I'm feeling half dead. What's wrong? I mean, my ears, on and off, constantly ringing for over a year now. And now those little flav flavonoids are not helping. I'm seeing floaters in my eyes. I have to wear glass, and the, the right, right uh, son, today is getting so bad. The feeling behind my right eye is almost diminishing. It's making it so, so I can almost not see out of my right eye. Some have suggested it could be a neck muscle at the back of my neck is firing, and that's causing the sensation behind my right eye, trigeminal neuralgia. But I don't know what is wrong. Let me tell you something. See those people playing volleyball? I wish I could be in there playing volleyball, but I feel so bad. Just the thought of being out there makes my head start to feel funny, like I want to feel like I want to pass out. It's that bad. If you saw, if, uh, I, if I saw an airplane fly high up in the sky, and imagine myself falling from my airplane. I feel like I wanted to pass out. Whatever is bothering me is so affecting my... I don't know. I'm, I, 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 I lack words to describe the hell I'm going through. Hey, Dawson McAllister, maybe I have already died. Maybe I am in hell. And that's why I can't go to no fucking hell for nobody to fucking listen to me. I'm afraid, I'm suddenly afraid I, I could be dying soon. I cannot even listen to the radio. Uh, my favorite songs, the 80s and 70s songs, and jam out anymore because these queer sensations behind my right eye and my head and this unnatural fatigue. And at the best, if I had to live the rest of my life feeling like this, you know what, Dr. Dawson McAllister's? I will kill myself. Do a live streaming video. No, I, I'll just kill myself. 
get it. If I do a live streaming video, nobody's gonna help me get, get on Dr. Oz. And if I got on Dr. Oz, even the mayor clear, and I bet you they couldn't even find what the hell was wrong. Feeling a flushing of sensation on this top of my head right here. So, what I need to do is go out one night and destroy as much as I can, break as many windows as I can, as, bit, as many businesses and cars as I can, slash some tires maybe. I'm, if I'm strong enough to do that, I'm weak. And then just OD on some sleeping pills and go out peacefully. Who knows? If I got an aneurysm in, in, behind my right eye, uh, one day all of a sudden it could burst and I could be in excruciating pain. Now I don't want that. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to be a rapper. I want to be the president of the United States. But nobody's listening to me. I can't get nobody to listen to me. So, I'm, and I'm not a good looking... Yes, I've been to the eye doctor. He did a scan. He said there was no stroke damage on my right or le my left eye. I've been the doctors out the asshole. And they're just now, I, only with my new family doctor is he now beginning to find stuff from me. I finally found out what this groin pain was that I've been had, bitching about since 2009. Actually, since 2008. I got hernia surgery here, and he said I'm going to need an inguinal hernia surgery on this side in about two years. This side is hurting like a bitch. This side is feeling better, I think. But, the way I feel right now, half tired, not, right, half, half not really feeling like riding my bike, and Dawson McAllister, I am gonna fucking kill myself. And you know what, and you know what, you, you don't give a goddamn, because I'm not under 30 years of age. You only help, you, you are, if you, uh, if I call your hope line. And press the number 30 or higher. You will say, we're sorry. We can't help you. You only care about the young people. Because you believe that us old people, 30 years and older, have done our, have contributed our lot to society and are ready to be put out in the pasture. Looking at your fucking picture, Dawson McAllister, you don't even look 40 or 50. You look like you're 60, in your 60s. Old enough to fucking retire. Why don't you follow your own goddamn advice and put yourself out the pasture and let that hot chick sidekick of yours, provided she's younger than 30, take your place, you old fucking man. Because if I don't have anything left to contribute to society, you long since have lost the... And I don't think McCarthy's are... I don't think you give a shit about people. You just trying to make a big name for yourself. You're starting from scratch, trying to make a big name for yourself in talk radio. And who knows where you, you can go from there. Always, the young people. I have to want ask, do you want some of that young pussy? You, do you hope to one day counsel some young woman and come from her and get some pussy from her? Because <coughs> you don't care about us old folks. You goddamn hypocrite. Question. If I called and Jesus was on your show, what would he do? What would Jesus do? Would he hang up the phone and tell me I'm too old to try to keep me from committing suicide? Well, that's what you're fucking doing, you hypocrite. I've tried. Oh, fuck it, man. To make a long, to make a long video short. If I don't get better, if I don't get, if I don't get cured, or well, at least you know, uh, uh, find out what the fuck this is, I will fucking kill myself. No. Oops, I missed. I was always such a dead shot. Want me to try that again? I think he knew what I'll fucking overdose on sleeping pills. I'm terrified of dying. I'm more terrified of living like this. What the fucking point of getting the record deal tomorrow? Why well, I can't, why well, well, I won't even be up to getting out, getting 
into the studio to do the recording because I feel like shit. My nose is always drip. I'm always blowing my nose. Like I said, I think it's something that's caused my sinuses to be inflamed, and that's why it, it, it can. And the pharmacist told me uh, the in the in nose and throat specialist will give you something to un uninflame your sinuses so that a cat scan. Just what I need, another goddamn cat scan to get cancer from. I, when I, I already had a little goddamn cat scan. Maybe I can get them to give me an MRI. If they can get my sinuses so then they're inflamed, maybe they can use that. Uh, maybe they can find this thing that's causing my sinuses to be, be inflamed so that it can now be detected so it can kill me. It's a brilliant piece of shit, isn't it? It's a fucking genius. A fucking genius to whatever this is that's killing me. But, I can have the last word. I can kill whatever this, the fuck this is. I just have to kill myself to do it, too. I just have to fucking kill myself to do it. I'd, li I'd like to kill myself live on social media. So, everybody can know my story. Maybe then... People will know I fucking breathed and lived and existed and was in pain because since nobody fucking knows that today, I can't get nobody to know that I, I fucking breathed today. And folks, Dawson and the Galster, if you listen, if you heard this, I thank you, but fuck you for not letting me talk to you on the radio just because I'm over. And all I want, and even if I do live, I'm still unhappy. I'm not a good-looking guy. I'm, I'm, my arms are too fucking short. And I want this while I'm looking in my 20s. Yesterday, some girl thought said I was 21. She's like, what? No, you look in the 30s. That right there, even if I was male, well, makes, makes me want to fucking kill myself right there. I used to sell my soul to the devil to look in my 20s, but I stopped. I'm trusting God now. God, please don't disappoint me. But God, please, I put it in, in your hands to heal me perfectly. I just saw a flood right there. But, man. Does any of you out there actually give a fuck about me? Hell no. Hell, hell to the fuck to no. I bet you in three, four, a year I'll come back to this fucking video. And I won't have but maybe 147 fucking views. Because I'm not goddammit General Marvels. Because I'm not goddammit Lizzie's answers. I wrote her, uh, her an email saying I was going to kill myself. She responded. I responded with a bunch of stuff from, from my heart. She, she never responded. I've sent one more letter. She never responded. I'm not one of her, one of her young dumb and full of cum Christian friends, Christian clique. Why well, I'm not her enemy. If I was her enemy, she would, uh, it would, uh, just like how good a Christian would it make her look if she did the words of Jesus, showed love to her enemy and showed kindness to me when I, if I had threatened her. But no, the man, in the, the man in the middle, the average Joe, never gets listened to. The rich man slips through the cracks out of his jail cell. The poor man slips through the cracks into his legal hell. hell. The middle man gets shafted both fucking ways. The rich tries to lift the poor up to our level so that the rich can look good to all mankind. But nobody gives a god fuck about the god fucking middle class. Would you... That... Being an average show to me is an abomination to me, almost as bad as Sodom and Gomorrah were an abomination to God. Wish you, I could make you feel what I'm feeling. Maybe then, I, I bet you I still could, I bet you if I could cause the doctor to feel what I'm feeling, I still couldn't get a fucking answer to what the goddamn bloody, blood of Christ fuck is wrong with me. Bloody cunt fuck. Goddamn motherfucker.